This weekend, I installed an above water through haul on my boat. I want to put a disclaimer that this is not a how to do it yourself video. This is me filming my process so you can learn from my mistakes because I make a lot of them. So, I'm Kayleen. This is Kira. I live on a Jason 35 here in Victoria, BC, and I'm currently working on my boat, trying to get it ready to eventually sail south. Right now, my bilge was running into my cockpit and then out into my cockpit drains and out the side. First up is to um, get the bilge pump from down in the bilge. One of the things about this boat is I can't actually access down in the bilge. Um, I can fit in some pretty tight spaces, but not here. I'm now trying to reinstall, install my new blue hose here for the bilge pump. Um, and it's not going on. I don't have a heat gun. So I ended up buying a one inch hose even though the standard for bilges are one and one eighth. So a hundred dollars later, I'm back from the marine store and I've got the correct size hose. So it is one and an eighth. And then I decided not to buy 15 more feet of that hose and instead just use adapters. All right, bilge hose is now connected. I'm gonna put it back down into the bilge. Somehow I managed to feed the hose through the, the hole. So now I'm putting the one-way valve in and I, I can't get it. I can't get it for the life of me. I put grease in. So I'm gonna go borrow my friend's heat gun and see if that helps. But um just just frustrated right now. Frustrated. Um turns out my biggest learning point from this weekend was how to measure hoses properly. Come on. Yes. And now I'm trying to decide where to put the hole running through the hall for the through hall. Um, the name's right here, so I'd rather not put it there. I think anywhere is good here. I'm gonna go right here. Here it goes. Apparently I need to work on my measuring skills because um, the through hall isn't quite as loose in the hole as I'd like it to be. I really have to jam it in there, um, which means I won't be able to get the silicone all around it quite as much as I'd like. Here on Sunday, the next day, uh, to finish the job now that the Cicaflex is set. So I'm going to uh, heat up this hose and then stall it. Oh, shoot, I forgot the wrench. Okay, I'm back. So, ooh, just gonna tighten this up now that the Seco flax is set. That doesn't sound good. Uh, grunting helps. <laughs> Basically, what I did was um, take apart my old build system and then put in new hose and I know it's boring. Um, I put in new hose as well as um, new one-way valves because the bilge hose didn't have any one-way valves. I chose nylon because it's above water through hull, so not as much stress on it. Um, most of my boat is all bronze through hulls, um, but... This one I ended up putting well above the the water line. Um, I also put it quite far away, so that was ended up being one of my problems. Is that I the hose is so long now that um, it has to push a lot of 
a lot of water back there. Um, I did this because my the stern of my boat it kind of canoes in, so um, slightly pointed stern. And I thought that if I if I did that, then there's not as much likelihood of when I'm dealing over and having it covered by the water. Yeah. Well, I hope you learned something, or at least just get to laugh at my mistakes and. Uh, if you like this, comment below, and I'll keep posting my updates as I work towards Sail South in a few years. Thanks for watching! Mm. Alright.